Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Project Blue Man. This is part four, and let's see what the game has to store for us this time. Listen up. We're about to get started. A lot of mercenaries from around the world have made their way into the country, as I'm sure you've seen. However, Sicario is currently one of the only groups that can throw around enough fighters to aid in the air war. Cascadia's National Guard was quickly scattered and taken out by Federation military forces when we originally tried to force them out of Cascadia. They came without mercy, eliminating more than 30% of our active forces. These last few weeks have been disastrous, and we're on the verge of capitulating into a full-blown guerrilla war. We'd like to avoid this, and because of that, Sicario will be deployed immediately to several of our units currently in need of support. Hitman team, you will be deployed to an agricultural area to the south. One of the Independence Force's surviving battalions has been driven there by a Federation offensive. Presently, a collection of Allied officers preside over a rather notable amount of manpower. The Federation is currently engaged using air and ground units, so a multifaceted loadout is suggested. You might catch the Federation off guard, however, anticipate retaliation in short order. Launch and lift the siege. If that battalion falls, our forces won't have enough manpower or command to organize again. So it's a rescue mission then. Well, this should be fun. Stop mission. But before we really get going, let's pick a play. Uh, we have our usual ones, obviously. The ones we haven't bought here, our trusty Phantom. Two new ones. CR105. I don't remember what this thing is called in real life, but I believe it's a Canadian aircraft. Uh, it's relatively good looking. As well as the SK25U. This is model of the Soviet, I believe. Uh, SU or Su 25 Frogfoot. It's a ground attack aircraft, which. I mean, we will be attacking quite a lot of ground units this uh, this mission, so could be good. But uh, there will also be quite a few air units, so we're going to go with the uh, MV4 here. We're going to go with the SAAs, semi-active uh, air -to -air missiles, unguided bomb small, uh, triple volley because they fire three bombs at once. Excellent, and MLAs. Here we go. Oh, we have to lift first. Just hold the accelerator button. I've got that bound to right trigger on the Xbox One controller. And when that little circle with the line through it pop up, sort of just pitch up a little and. Uh, Take flight. Now, as I say, I always like to level off and go as fast as I can, because early in this game's life, there was a weird thing uh, with how they activated the mission. Uh, Very pretty. Diplomat Hitman 2 on my 5 o'clock. And Comic Hitman 3 on my 7. Let's go. Artillery group right now. That might do it. I'm nope, didn't. That's absolutely gonna miss. Fuck. Loop 
down, go for another run. That's much better. Thing. Okay, just a raid jamming everything. That might be a fun mission. I was wrong. Ow. Is that enough? It's clearly not that good. That was probably overkill though. And relax. There's one thing I dislike about this game, it is the atrocious uh, target acquisitioning, uh, target acquisition uh, selection that, get, that the game does. You can flip through like two different targets or two different sort of IFF signatures. Like, several seconds while you're just flipping through those ones until the game finally goes, oh, you want a different one? Oh, I see. Well, yeah, we've got one over here, but are you sure you don't want those two? It's like, yes, I know. Uh, that's the main irritant uh, about this game. That's... Oh, that should be enough. Kaboom. Well, yes. No, you're a little small for those. Uh, there we go. Here is the reason why we bought semi actors Big bloody planes. Go boom. They tend to get ruined pretty quickly by those. You can also fire a volley and gun burst. That's enough. Evidently, I can't put, so we'll have to go around for another run. Uh, except he's turning into us, so. Or did I miss see that? Hit! Thank you. Whoa! Hello, that's close. Look around, once more, and. We did already light him up with the machine guns, so not much of a point in uh, lighting up even further. Come round here, and let's not fly upside down because we're going to bomb these guys. Ah, uh, that should absolutely do it. Thank you, bunkers. Bunkers can be a little fiddly. On occasion, they only take like one missile, and sometimes they take two or three. See if these bombs will do that. They will most certainly exit. Okay, you know what? Bombs are fun and all, but uh, missiles are a little quicker. So let's see if we can wrap up this little mission quicker. Than... You're dead. That's lucky! <laughs> Trees are intangible in this game. Excellent! Uh, and let's come round here. Uh, later on in this game, I'm going to show you a neat little trick you can do with the guns. I might do it here as well. You can sort of lob your shots quite, quite effectively uh, if you know what you're doing. 
It's a little difficult with the the standard machine guns, but once you unlock unlock uh, planes such as the SK-25U, as a matter of fact, uh, that have uh, explosive shell launchers, uh, sort of. They they have auto cannons. They fire explosive shells. Uh, you can lob your shells quite effectively. That worked. No, it didn't. Damn it. I'd come around, switch normal missiles, and double tap it. There we go. Well, they certainly seem to be doing better now without any enemies. Alright, more of them. That seems to be a flight of four, I believe those are helicopters. Go boom. Quad missiles, that'll handle those just fine. Wait, is he screaming up about bees? <laughs> Levity in every moment. Well, no, not quite. Okay. Clearly I can't aim. Down a little bit. Okay, one of them is gonna go. I think. Yep, absolutely. Excellent. Build up some speed while we go around for another. Okay, we don't go around for another one. Because one of our friends got him. Uh, there we have those and use the multis. They just make a lot of sense. They don't all right? Right. Okay. Just come around here. Kobo. Kobo. Communications tower. Goodbye. No, I don't want those. That's better. Okay, something tells me that this is about to get nasty. An SV-37. That'll be fun. That was sort of the way we could have used uh, a few missions back. Might as well do one double salvo there. That's much better. Wonder if those are gonna hit. Uh, one of them did. Great. And we've now got it uh, confirmed that if only one bomb hits, it won't destroy the tank. Unfortunately. That's uh, and that's an SK-25. Those can be quite annoying towards ground troops. Okay, what are these? No, stop it! Oh! They were ground troops. Got it. Where's. Just in case there are any stray missiles on us. Go back for another FE 18. If I do love anything in this game, is beyond the game itself. Uh, the sound design is fantastic. We can just sneak in on this guy's tail. There we are. Oh.
Might as well get these. If we can... I don't think we're going to be able to get all with one... Probably get those with one though. Possibly. And you with... No, we didn't get all of them. We must have barely missed him. Just come around for another pass, and I don't know why I double tapped that. One, uh, two. Okay, you know what? He's far away. He's also quite far away, so. We're going to use enemy actives. We don't have that many fighters that are on us. Uh, planes that are actively attacking us, nor do we seem to have much of the ways of the uh, SAM, so we don't really need to care that much. We just. You know, line up our shots and take our time. And another IA-52. Jesus, they brought, brought us a lot of these. Again, double tap them for the greatest effect. Here begins the rather... Uh, relatively tedious job of just ground pounding. And since we're quite a ways away from them, you know, takes a bit of time to get there. But, we are here now, Let's see what that's going to do, something reasonable I hope. That was two, excellent. Pump back round, and do that, uh, now you know what, that was way too close for a successful missile launch. just got two tanks well now in front of us. One double tap that with a missile. Ooh, and a SAM. And the last will be an AA gun. Oh, I really? I missed? Okay, great. Mission success. That's in the sorty summer as well. Good job, Hitman team. General Elizabeth reports her tactical support pretty much saved his men and a respectable amount of firepower for the Independence Force. Combined with deployments by the rest of Sicario and other mercenaries, we've been brought back from the brink and have stabilized our territory. Being able to maintain proper military formation and territory means we'll be able to wage this war the right way. Stand by for further taskings, and get some rest. So, that was uh, mission four. 
as always, we see the grain units were destroyed, the air units were destroyed, and our allied kills as well. Uh, our bonus payout has now increased to 3,000 per mission, or at least for this one. Uh, total payout is 18,490 credits. All in all, not bad. So, uh, this has been Project Wingman, Podball. If you like the video, plus press like. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. And if you have something to say, you can add Studio So in the comments. Uh, I have Link Laser, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.